Oh, aloha, everyone. Joshua Hayes at BigWaveTrading.com. It's been a while since my last video lesson out publicly on social media, so let's go ahead and make one now because um, there's a lot of emotions in this market right now, and there's a lot of traders that don't know what to do. Is this a crash? Is this not a crash? Overall, everyone, this is just a pullback. It's been really bad on the QQQ because tech stocks are heavily influenced by a rising interest rate environment, and even though we don't have any at the Fed level, um, the, the bonds are clearly um, spiking up in interest rates. And with high PE stocks, it's always going to hurt. But I want to show everybody, if we're going to hold on the QQQ, we are here at key support level that, relines, that lines up perfectly with this low here and these highs here. So if we're going to bounce, especially since we're at the 100 simple moving average, now is the time to bounce. What is important to me is Friday's low a day. If we break below Friday's low a day, we have to assume that we're going to go back to the 200 simple moving average or this horizontal white line, which kind of lines up with this gap up low here and this pullback low to the gap up post the, I can't remember what news this was, but I believe it was COVID-19 positive news right back there. So that's how the QQQ looks. Now, if you're looking for any positive divergences in your indicators, we do not have any yet. Um, momentum is lower lower on the PPO, lower on the TSV. They're both below the zero line. Um, Chaken is barely above the zero line, but it's basically trending lower and accumulation distribution. Um, same thing. So everything looks weak. Um, SPY, if we look at the SPY, we're still above this key support level, which lines up with this low. And these recent highs kind of cutting through this price level here. We need to hold up above Thursday's low. If we break Thursday's low, we're good to this support line. If we crack it, these previous highs in this kind of price action here is, I believe, going to be the next um, support level followed by the 200 simple moving average. Same thing, though. Um, we're bearish on everything. There's no positive divergences there. DIA is the same case in the IWM, which is what I like to follow. You can see we're above that support level, which is this low right here. And if we crack through that, we have the 100 simple moving average in this horizontal level, which is basically lining up with this low right here at low. If we go through there, um, we could easily see us backfill all of this price action to that gap up level, which is even below the 200 simple moving average. So definitely not out of the water yet. You can see um, TSV, PPO, Chaikin, accumulation distribution line is still weak. No positive divergences there. So until I see some positive divergences, I'm really not hunting for a low. I'm not looking for a low. We're still in the period of very negative seasonality. Cash is king short term here. But that being said, we still have some winning stocks. But I want to remind everybody out there, um, if you want to be aggressive, you focus on the intraday time frame because there is no overnight holding. We also have a quarterly portfolio where I buy 10 stocks, 10% of my account capital in each in three different portfolios and hold those for 90 days. That's the most handoff version. But the um, methodology that I like the best that I always recommend people trade to because you can always adjust it to your style is the end of day methodology. And one thing I always try to express in these video lessons, the best time to get long and the quote, quote, easiest money with less volatility, with less risk, easier to hold for big, huge moves is when that VIX is below this 20 level. As you can see, since the March lows, one day only. It has closed below that line one day only. So it's no, you know, it's no shock that my trimming and trailing methodology is getting me almost out of most of my positions before they can go on to complete their move. But as we just saw in that market pullback in names that I was long like Mara and Riot from the highs, uh, the trimming and trailing methodology looks great. And I mean, in NDM, that was another stock we were long. You can see how much this one has rolled over. The trimming and trailing um, prevented us from being involved in that. But until this changes, it's going to be tough. And I'm going to remind everybody one more time before I move on with the overall market that not only with the VIX below 20 is it necessary, but I want to see this time segment volume on the SPY and IWM bullish on the monthly time frame. When those two things are lined up, man. I really push it on the end-of-day side. And also, when I get some pretty, what I consider beautiful setups, I also push on the end-of-day side. We don't have that right now. And now with the overall market being weak, we need to take that into account. So really quick, I want to show you the time segment volume. And to do that, I need to show you my trading view chart. 
So as we can see here, this is a monthly time frame on the SPY. We turned green back here, and we're still green. Now we're moving back towards that signal line, but overall, we're still green. So that's good. This, this is the kind of market that I want to be aggressive in. When it's red, it's tough to make money, especially whenever the VIX is above 20. Um, when the VIX is below 20 and this is red, uh, that's a half-half signal. When the TSV is green and the VIX is above 20, that's a half-half signal. But when everything lines up, it can be a beautiful thing. And right now, you know, we, we have the monthly TSV. We just don't have that VIX. And the sweetest sweet spot is when all the monthly, weekly, and daily time frames are lined up. And while the DIA is green on the weekly, the SPY, still red, wants to try to turn up. IWM is turned red. And the QQQ is red. And then if we look on a daily basis, QQQ is red on a daily. So a lot of caution, short term still, for that index. The DIA is green. The SPY is green. And the IWM is green. So in the most shortest of short term, that's in our favor. But right now, there's too many headwinds. It's best to be safe. When the headwinds clear, I'm going to let all of my big wave trading family members know that it's time to increase size and go balls to the wall again. But for now, my main focus time frame is intraday on stocks like EYES. XCLB was also in play on Friday. Um, or the quarterly portfolios, and it's actually having a rough month this month, or, or quarter, I should say, so far since February 19th compared to previous quarters, and that's just because the high PE stocks are getting hit. Now, with that being said, I'm going to let everybody know the quarterly portfolio um, had its best quarter ever last quarter since inception of tracking is up 214% compared to the S&P's 43% gain, but this quarter, while the market is down 1.7%, my main growth portfolio is down 10%, but I had a chance to either do tech stocks in it or do safety stocks that were moving up in the scooter rankings at stockcharts.com and IBD relative strength industry groups. And I chose the tech stocks, uh, the safe portfolio, those 10 stocks, 10% each are up 5.25% in aggregate. Uh, what are you going to do? So with all that being said, I want to actually, I'm going to give you guys two new long positions that I'm setting up orders for on Monday, but I also want to review that, look, we still have some big winners out there despite this market on the end of day side. So first thing first, Eyes was the number one stock in play on Friday based on news catalysts at the open and strong pre-market and then opening price action. But hey, it was also an end of day swing long. Now, unfortunately, you see the white arrow is from Friday session. This was the signal date right here. Wish it would have triggered and filled and did what it did on Friday the day after, but it didn't. And you'll see it pulled back the entire time. You guys might know how I trade. It's good to cancel buy stop limit orders. So until price touches 280, my buy order does not execute. Unfortunately, eyes kept pulling back, but here's the key. How come I didn't stop myself or cancel my order on eyes? Why? The entire pullback, the balance of power indicator remained green and volume was below average. If you want to see a stock that I did cancel that I had an order out on recently, ARKR. Had an order to get long if it triggered and filled at 1998. Never triggered and filled. And right there, that's it. Order is now canceled. ARKR is a void. It's done. So that's how I play the stocks. EYES, triggered and filled. A new long position only had a couple leading into Friday, PDS. There was your signal. Engulfing hammer candle off strong support above the rising 50-day simple moving average in a strong industry group on heavier above average volume and an increase in balance of power, got filled, and we are long PDS heading into Monday session. Now, other stocks recently that have been working out, MBIN. This was the long signal here, triggered and filled the next day. Granted, we don't have a full position left, but maybe you put 100% of your account into this name. Maybe you're still waiting for my first end of day sell signal, which there hasn't been. Then you have a 42% gain on your entire account. Now everybody's different. I always recommend 10 stocks, 10% each, but you also do 5, 20, 25, one R risk per trade, which is right now what I'm doing on the end of day side. It's up to you. Either way, we still have stocks that are winning here and there's actually quite a few of them. Do I have large positions in any of these? Absolutely not. You know, I told you guys, you know, I'm throwing darts right now, risking one R per trade. IESC though, you know, 78%. But like I said, maybe you go all in on this. 
That's a 78% gain there, still working, hitting new highs um, since the signal. MSGE, long signal here, got triggered and entered the next day. It's now up 46% gain since it's, you know, triggered. HI, I'm long HI. Here was the long signal right here. Triggered and filled inside of it the next day, 32% gain. PXI, long signal was right here. Triggered and filled the next day. By the way, I'm going to remind everybody, gold and platinum members for the quality signals, man, I give you guys the exact good to cancel buy stop and good to cancel sell stop initial order before I ever take the trade on my end. Everybody that's a, that is a family member can run me. On the speculative side, platinum members can do that. PXF, PXI worked. How about MFC? This was the long signal. Notice how there's no white arrow here because it didn't trade up and through 1671 until the very next day. 27% gain since the signal date. Resi, here's another one. The long signal was here. It did reverse off the intraday high, but the volume surge was so much that I decided to take it as a long. 81% gain since the signal. BFST, recent long signal. Hasn't moved much, but still 14% gain. Still hitting highs, showing that we can still pick stocks in a market where the environment is weak. HTH, this one's been really nice for me. 67% gain since the long signal. Nothing huge. ESXB, look at that volume surge. Look at all that green bop before this signal. 71% gain since that signal date and enter. SP, there's the long signal here off the pullback with that volume and bop surge. Since that signal date, 123% gain. So that'll be a good one to end it off of. I don't think I really have any hitting new highs that I have um, positions of size in anymore. So we still have some winners. But that being said, I'm very cash heavy on the end of day side. So to wrap this video lesson up for everyone, I'm going to give you guys two new long positions that I am setting up for Monday session. Now, for however long they're going to be true, I don't know, but this is what I'm doing. FUTU is a new long signal for Monday session. We have a hammer candle right above the uptrending 50-day simple moving average, which also happens to be right near strong price support on heavier above average volume and an increase in green bop. Do you see this arrow here? That's because FUTU was a long signal here. Got filled this day. Now, right here, unfortunately, this pullback knocked me out of half of it whatever I was still long into here. So I, by the time FUTU topped, I no longer have a position. But I'm still tracking it on an end-of-day basis for members. But from that signal date to the high, that's a 425% gain. My game plan on FUTU on Monday, good to cancel buy stop at 144.61. I add a 1% limit offset. So it's actually, let me go look. I can tell you my order. Nope. It shut down on me. Okay, never mind. My interactive brokerage account shut down. So 144.61, add 1%. That's my limit order. If it triggers up and through it, great. If that triggers, I only have one stop. 118 minus 1 cent is 117.99. Now, if it triggers and fills and works higher Monday, whatever Monday's low a day is, that will be where 50% of my trailing stops are. 100% at this low. With the market being the way it is right now, I want to be tight with my stops. But that's one, F-U-T-U. And, and this comes from my canceling quality scan, was confirmed in my price volume bop surge scan. It's um, group relative strength rating is 84 at MarketSmith, and it has 36% of its flow short. So there's one that I'm taking on Monday. And then the final one, and we'll wrap the video lesson up here with this one, um, UPWK. Platinum members are familiar with this name. UPWK, I was looking for a long back here and was thinking about adding it to the quart quarterly portfolio in November. Um, portfolios in November, not sure which one. I did not. But that being said, UPWK, um, wow, 102% gain. But we're going to try it here on the pullback. I have a hammer candle pattern right off this recent support level. Let's see if you just look at this line here. You can see how it cuts through these levels, kind of cuts, cuts through these recent highs right there. Hammer candle of strong price support. Above average volume, not heavier above average, but I just need either one or the other. Two is always better, but above average. And a slight increase in green bop. You can see it's slightly higher. Good to go. UPWK comes from my um, price volume bop surge scan, and it's also canceling quality. UPWK and FUTU are both also perfect speculator scan quality based on the book, The Perfect Speculator by Brad Kodish War. 
but currently they are more than 20% off their 52-week intraday high days, so they're currently not in that scam, but normally they are. So the game plan with the UPWK, 44, 49 will be my good to cancel buy stop order. Add 1% and that's my limit. I would prefer to trade up and through that price. And if it does, if it gaps up, pulls back and triggers, I'll take that right now. Um, I, I, since I'm only risking 1R. Now, if I was risking 10R or 10% 10 of my total account capital per trade, I wouldn't be doing that. It would have to trigger with strength. But even if it wants to gap up to 45 and then pull back to like 44, 49, good enough for me. And then if it does trigger and fill, 39.30 will be my final stop. Now, if it triggers and fills Monday and then runs higher immediately, I'll be looking to trim some off, same with FUTU, and then put 50% of my stops at whatever Monday's low day is and the final stop at this candle low. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video lesson up there. Um, thank you for watching, everyone. Hopefully, um, these trades work out on Monday, but if not, there will always be more. And, of course, if you're a member of um, Big Wave Trading and in our chat room, in the pre-market, I'll be giving out the stocks that should be your top focus names before the opening bell that you really look for the VWAP reclaim setup that I look for. Members know what I'm talking about. Um, and then we'll see if we can move on from there. But if you like the video lesson, please give me a thumbs up. Um, comments, suggestions, questions, please put them in the comment section. Let's get that YouTube algorithm moving for me so we can get more and more people watching this because I would like to start making more and more of these. Like I said, time is tight. Um, hopefully that'll be changing. <laughs> And um, I'll be more than happy to do these video lessons. But, you know, also ring that bell if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't. Please, 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 I would appreciate it if you would share it with your friends that could benefit from this because I know a lot of people got hurt in the most recent market pullback. Uh, guess who didn't? I'm raising my hand. And also, guess who didn't? Every single one of our family members at Big Wave Trading. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend, which is actually Sunday night here on Maui, so it's we're all probably asleep. Great luck in your upcoming trading. Aloha.